Every year at Christmas, we do Christmas stockings. We have a theme and a budget. So what's it gonna be for 2023? Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today's video is all about Christmas stockings, how to do a theme, how to budget for them. So I'm gonna explain all in this video what we've done previously and what we're going to do this year. So the actual budget for this year is what we've decided is to be five pounds. So sometimes it's been five and sometimes it's been 10. But I think five pounds is just sort of that type of figure that doesn't really feel like you're paying a lot of money in case you get anything a little bit silly. So in terms of the theming, the ideas that we've come up with, usually we just have one idea for our Christmas stocking and then just centre everything around that one idea. But this year, we actually thought of two. When I say we, I mean me, because, you know, in this house, it's me that comes up with all of these ideas for definite. One of them has to be something funny or silly. So something that definitely would amuse us, you know, make us laugh, etc. Um, so it can be totally silly, and ridiculous or it can just be something that's funny so that's the one idea and the second idea is something Disney so all three of us love things Disney we've gone to Disneyland Paris so many times and love everything Disney so that was the other idea obviously for you out there if you're just watching this for a bit of fun perfect if you're watching this to get some ideas Obviously you don't have to go with the exact theming of what I'm advising on you know, on this video to do with what I'm doing, but it just might give you some ideas and just some inspiration as to what can you do sort of last minute to put together a theming and a budget and get some Christmas stockings made. So we all have a stock in each and then we all think of different things that we can buy each other. Last year, for instance, we had a bottle theme. So Emily and myself got more like sort of smelly things. And um, when I say smelly things, I mean like bath products, bottles, that type of thing. And my husband got bottles of beer, you know, lager in his stocking. So that was the type of idea that we had last year. For this year, we've actually got two ideas. So one present or more than one present, but the total value is only five pound. So it's quite hard to try and find two different ideas for five pound, but I've come up with some really, really good ideas. I've no idea what I'm getting because obviously Emily and her dad are putting together a stocking for me. So obviously I can't film that because even if Emily filmed it, which she's more than capable of picking the vlogging camera up and obviously filming it, but then it will be me editing it because she doesn't do the editing. So in all honesty, I'm gonna see it, aren't I? So I've just kept my gifts out of it. So I'm just gonna show you today what I've got Emily and what I've got Emily's dad. So let's dive in to the stockings and see what I've got for these two different ideas, all within a budget of five pounds each. So starting with Emily's stocking, I'm just gonna show you now what I've got for a five pound budget using a Disney idea and something silly or funny, uh, whichever way you want to sort of say it. Um, but certainly those two type of gift ideas for five pounds, what I've got in Emily's stocking. Now I'd like to think all of these things, anything that we're buying for each other, are all going to be useful things, things that we'd actually use, so we're not actually wasting money. So let's see what's inside. So the first thing, I can't shout too loud actually, because even though she's upstairs, if I start shouting, she's probably going to hear me, um, is this. Look how funny this is. Anyone who's seen um, my B&M haul, um, you will have, you'll have seen this before. But yeah, it's a bum mask. Oh my word, a bum mask. I mean, really? I mean, people use these things? I just thought this was hilarious. Look at the back of it. Look at the back of that. That is so funny. It actually gives you full instructions of how to use it. That was only a pound from B&M. So this is part of her funny struck silly present, which I just thought was amazing. She's going to be howling with laughter on Christmas Day when she pulls this out of her Christmas stocking for definite. I'd highly recommend anyone who wants to give a gift to somebody who would find this funny. Obviously, don't do it if somebody would be offended. I won't be. I just think that's hilarious. Um, but anyone out there that can get to a B&M, go check those out for a pound. The Radiant Rose range, which is all different sort of body things that they've got out in B&M, sort of their own. I think it's just their own make, really. Um, but yeah, this says plump your bum with natural rose water to leave your skin super soft. I just thought that was absolutely amazing. So one pound for that. So that's one of her silly, funny gifts, which as I say, Emily will be howling with laughter. To be honest, you probably will want to use it. It won't go to waste. I don't know how you apply those things, if I'm honest. I just think it's something that just would just cause so many laughs. I definitely think it would. So going back to our oldie haul, I actually bought this 
but if you've not checked that out you won't have seen it but 79 pence for a Disney 100 game and this game is actually I thought it was like snap initially and I thought oh well, that's just gonna be a little bit young but it isn't there's all different dices so you have to match the character to um, if you can see on here match the character to the color to the symbol so you've got three different dices and you have to match everything up and I think you may put the cards all out and then you have to sort of remember what you've got and then be the first to grab the cards kind of thing um, and the person I'm guessing with the most cards at the end is the person who wins but 79 pence I mean I think that was just the bargain of the century so to get that that's really funny and silly and that which was a really cool game and it's Disney for 79p I think that's amazing but I have got one more thing just to obviously you know mount it up to I said five pounds to Emily and her dad but obviously give or take if we have to spend a little bit more or a little bit less then that's absolutely fine the reason I've popped it in this little gift bag is just because it's quite small and I just think if I drop it into a stocking it's probably just going to get lost within it so I've popped it in just a little gift bag. I've wrapped it in a little bit of tissue as well just to protect it. But this is the gift that I've bought Emily. Now, obviously, the fact that we love Disney and anyone who's watched our Disneyland Paris vlogs will know how much we love Stitch. We've met Stitch in Disneyland Paris. So this is one of Emily's favourite characters at Disney for definite. I mean, to be honest, she's got so many. We all love Disney. I just thought this key ring was absolutely lovely. It doesn't end there. It's actually personalised with the little blue jewels there on the side. I thought this was really lovely. So this was just from Primark and it was £3. So I thought, what a bargain for definite. Emily does actually have a stitch bag that she takes with her to Disneyland Paris quite a few times or, you know, she has done before. So I thought that was perfect to just hang on that bag. So yeah, what a lovely gift. Obviously, it's in line with the Disney theming. That was £3, as I say, from Primark. This was less than a pound from Aldi. So that's the Disney things that we've got. And then this, which is obviously the silly, funny part of the present. So yeah, I've spent less than five pounds for all of these different things. So I hope that's given you a few ideas. So now I'm going to get to Emily's dad's stocking, see what's in that one. So with the same ideas, a Disney idea and something silly, stroke, funny, for five pounds, what have I put in the stocking for Emily's dad? So let's get open in and have a look. So the first little gift I've popped into a bag, again, just to stop the gift from falling around in the stocking. So it's just a really small gift. This is kind of the funny, stroke, silly type of thing. And it's not actually that funny and that silly, but I saw it and I just thought it looked really good. And I thought it's something that you'd actually find um, quite funny, actually. So does anybody else ever get that thing where you want in the movie, you don't know what to watch, you want in a takeaway, but you don't know what to eat. And you just can't decide what to do with your evening. This is gonna change it all. Movie night, indecision, dice. So this is a little gift that I picked up in the sale from Sainsbury's for less than £1.50. I think it was about £1.20 something, something like that. Um, but a takeaway decider dice and a movie decider dice. So obviously you roll the dice and then that decides on what you're going to eat, what you're going to watch. The little quote underneath says, never argue about what to watch and eat again. I just think that's really, really good. The next silly, fun. this is definitely silly rather than funny. I think this is just really silly. He's not going to use it. And anyone who's seen a Primark menswear video, you'll know what this is. But yeah, it's a thinking cap. It does do quite a lot of thinking, to be honest. So I think this will be perfect for him, for absolute definite. He definitely spends far too long thinking. I know I probably look really stupid on the video right now, but uh, a pound this was one pound from Primark. I thought this was amazing. So I'm trying not to shout because even though they're not anywhere near me, they are in other rooms. And sometimes I do find that when I'm filming a video, I actually shout. I hope it doesn't come across like that to you guys. I don't think it will. Um, but sometimes when you're actually filming, you do feel that you're actually shouting when you're not meaning to. So I just don't want him to hear what I've got in here or Emily. Um, but yeah, this was a pound. Um, it's actually part of the Stranger Things, which I wasn't sure why particularly, but I haven't watched all of the, I think I've only watched the first series of Stranger Things. So anyone who's watched, you know, all of the series will probably know exactly why and where this has come from. But I just, I didn't do it for that reason, for Stranger Things at all. I just did it because of the wording on it. I just thought it was amazing. So funny, one pound, in all honesty, is he gonna walk along, you know, the beach or anywhere on holiday or here in the summer? Is he gonna wear that? 
No, he's not. So for a pound, this is a little bit of a waste of money for definite. But he might use it in the garden or something. Or he might surprise us and actually decide on holiday to walk around in public with it and then just totally embarrass me and Emily. Um, that could be something he could do just to basically get back at us for buying it in the first place. So this is another stocking gift for one pound. So already that was just over a pound. That was a pound, so, you know, just over two pound for two really silly, funny type of things. Now I'm gonna get to the Disney gift. Now I bought this, oh, I thought this was just amazing. Absolutely love it. He really loves um, Goofy. Well, we all do, to be honest, in Disney. Uh, when I say Disney, I'm referring to Disneyland Paris. Always love meeting him. Goofy's so fun. Um, and this is actually a men's gift set. Initially, when I picked it up, I thought, is it a man's or is it a woman's? I couldn't quite decide. But when I actually read what the body wash inside is, so this here is a body wash, which is amber and ginseng. So I thought it sounds a bit more manly, and it is. It definitely is a man's gift set. Um, so you get the mug. So they're saying always goofing around, which to be fair, my husband does quite a lot of that as well, as well as goofy. You get a body wash and then you get um, a face cloth. So I thought this was amazing and I got this bargain, $1.99. I actually got this from a store called Boys's boys i don't know how everyone pronounces it um i tend to say boys is they have got quite a few stores but more all across sort of sort of yorkshire area really so if you're not from yorkshire then you might not have ever heard of it quite an old store that's been going for a long time and as i say all in the sort of yorkshire region so with the disney gift only 1.99 these for just over two i've still spent less than five pounds and i thought i won't buy anything else really because i'm probably not going to get anything else silly or disney for sort of 70 80p unless i bought just some chocolate or sweets which wouldn't be in line with the theme would it so i think i've done well you know to get all of these things for less than five pounds you know what do you think what do you think of my ideas today definitely drop us a comment in terms of what you think the ideas the budget you know the types of theming that i've come up with and let me know what you're doing this year you know what type of theming do you like to do do you have a much more expensive budget do you have a cheaper budget do you have no budget i think that'd be quite dangerous having a no budget stocking for definite quite a lot of fun if i'm honest but i wouldn't want to spend an awful lot of money on silly funny games because although they are silly and funny you know they can be a little bit of a waste of money can't they so a pound here a pound there I don't think breaks the bank but you know try not to sort of waste money on things that you might not use again or might find it funny for five minutes and then it goes in a cupboard or something you don't really want that do you really so so yeah comment down below on what you do for Christmas stockings and what you think to my ideas so previous ideas that we've had before in terms of theming we've definitely done bottle ones where as I say my husband's had beers lagers and things and me and Emily have had sort of body type things in bottles We've done Christmas themed ones where things have to be sort of Christmas themed. So we've maybe got Christmas socks or, you know, Emily's got like a Christmas soft toy or a little Christmas game or something. Um, what other things have we done? Chocolates and sweets. Um, they're quite easy ones though, aren't they? They're the things you go to when you can't think of anything else. Um, we've done silly and funny things before. Um, but yeah, we've done quite a few things. We've done Disney theme before. We've done toiletry theme before. Me and Emily had got sort of bath bombs and husband had like shower things so more like a toiletry type of one and then um skincare me and my husband did that one year i don't know if we themed emily's different that year quite possibly where we had sort of face masks and more skincare just like some moisturizers and hand cream type of um gifts and emily had i think she had toys in that year so we did a slightly different theme in that particular year but yeah we've done quite a lot of different ideas so i really hope that you know quite a few of these ideas have been useful to you you or that you've had a bit of fun just watching this we're getting ever so close to christmas now guys aren't we um i'm definitely really trying with my whole vlogmas i'm definitely finding it difficult to you know put all these videos out so i really appreciate you watching and if you haven't already subscribed to our channel i'd really appreciate if you did subscribe that'd really help our channel grow give us a big like and thank you so much for watching as always for comments and just watching our videos just means such a lot um, and as i said i'm really trying with the 12 days of vlogmas i'm trying to think of lots of different things just ideas that i've got in my head or ideas that i'm actually doing like things like this that i'm just doing anyway you know and i really want to share 
share things with you all. So I really hope that you're finding a lot of things fun and informative because that's exactly why we're doing the video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. See you later. Bye. <laughs>